Hello friends, uh, welcome again and this is my new project sales and stock management system and I have developed this project in Java, JSP and MySQL the version for the JDK I'm using is the JDK version 1.8 MySQL version is 5.6 and for connecting Java, JSP with MySQL I'm using the MySQL connector which you will get easily from the MySQL.org website also uh, this is the web application so I am running this project on the Tomcat server and the Tomcat version I am using the Tomcat version 7 or you can use Tomcat version 8 or 9 also, right? So for front-end development, I have used uh, HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Some of the jQuery library also have used, like for form validations and all things I have used the jQuery libraries, right? So let's just start with the functionality, go through that what we have developed inside the project, right? So the project title is Sales and Stock Management System. And the main objective of this project, to develop this project is to sell the product and managing the stock of the product right so let's start so this is the home page of the project and this is a totally static page and i am not renting anything from the database on this page this is about us and it's also a static page right if you want to change the content of the about us you can change it from the about us.jsp this is the admin login from where admin can login and perform short end operations right without login admin will not be able to see the administrative options this is a contact us page and this is a static contact us page and the details of this contact us page i am not sending saving anywhere even i am not sending a type of email and sms from this page so let's start with the admin login so the user id is admin and the password is test so login once you log in then you will get the dashboard so this is a sales dashboard you can see sales and stock management dashboard right from here you can add the product add the sales all product report sales report right even you can see the stock report too right so let me go through one by one home page i already explained you about us this is already explained you this is the dashboard from where uh, admin can jump on that menu this is add new so once you click in the add product you will be able to see the product form and from here you will be able to add the products you can add any number of products into the database right and the information of this form will be saved inside the MySQL database this is the add sales from here customer can initiate the sale let me show you so customer name suppose i am entering the i'm saying mobile number i am entering and once you click on the start order it will show the order id and the order date customer name and the customer mobile right here you select the product this drop down will contain all of the product which you have added once you click on the add item then that item will be saved into the database so you can see this is the item and the price is calculating automatically now i am going to add one five more product right so you can see the prices are calculating automatically if i want to delete some just click hit the delete button and that item will be deleted from the cart right if you want to add more then you can select the item and number of quantity right so total amount the customer needs to pay is five to five zero rupees once you click on the save sales the information of this page will be saved into the database right so this is a save sales and from here you can print the receipt so this page is coming from the database once you click on the print receipt then the print uh, you will be able to print this page from the printer <coughs> right so this is the customer uh, sorry sales dashboard this is a report from here you will be able to see all of the products you can copy see, export the file into the csv excel pdf print so these all buttons are working even you can search the product on the real time you can see this is a real time search right <clears throat> okay so even you can sort according to the quantity according to the name <clears throat> this is a sales report all of the sales report which has made by you will be displayed here once you click on the view details you will be able to see all of the sales details right this is a sales report right this is a stock report from here you will be able to see the order the order the product name and the number of items which is remaining in the system right so once you say suppose if you are selling five rates to a customer then after selling five rates then the order and uh, sorry the total stock will be available only 60 right so this is working fine and according to yourselves the stock will be decreased right if you want to increase the stock 
then you can go on the product reports and you can edit it and you can update the stock here right so this is the stock report and this is a logout so once you log out then all of the session will be destroyed and admin will not be able to access the internal menus this is a total session driven menu and it renders according to the login so let me show you if i log out then you can see the admin menu is not coming because it's a session driven but if i log in then the administration menu is displaying right if i log out it's not displaying right? so this all functionalities i have developed inside this project sales and stock management system and as i told you earlier this is a uh, java gsp and mysql project and it's a web-based dbms project right so if you need more functionality in this project just put it into the comment i will incorporate those changes i will make this project better and better according to your requirements and don't forget to subscribe our channel for getting the latest projects videos on the latest technologies thanks for watching the video thank you very much